Uh, today we're going to be talking about the large spotted pompano, otherwise known as three spot pompano, wave garrick, uh, astronaut, the name for them. The Australians call them darts, uh, same thing. It's Trachinotus bottler. So the astronaut, they are a fairly interestingly shaped fish. Their dorsal and anal fins curve back in quite a, it's called a lunar type shape, so looking like the moon, like that. And they have a very strong big tail. Uh, this is really to help them in the zone where they feed, which is right behind the surf zone. It's nice and it makes them nice and powerful. They can move around and shoot around the water. Um, very thin fish for their for their depth. They also have these three large blotches along their body, and they're absolutely white. And they have a very small head. It actually looks like their their head's been miniaturized almost on the size. Uh, another very interesting thing: the in over 90% of the adult, adult fish, the tongue has actually been parasitized by a, an isopod. So if you open his mouth, you actually see he's got an isopod sitting on his tongue. In terms of affecting them, that doesn't seem to have a harmful um, effect on the, on the species itself. They can still feed and they still do, even though it does restrict the size that they can get into their mouth. Um, they've got a, quite a small mouth, as we said, with a small head. So they're really looking for small crustaceans. Where they feed, is ideally picking up uh, little crabs that have been picked up by the um, by that last wave right there on the shore break and little crabs mole crabs or sea lice is really what they're going after and anything else that gets kicked out so little sand mussels worms that that kind of setup um, they do attain over 70 centimeters fork length so you're measuring them to the fork in their tail because their tail does split and that's going to be a fish of close to two and a half, three kilos. Now, central Kayserian, so yeah in Durban and then south, you're really gonna get a fish over 500 grams. Um, that's sort of like a, that would, that would be a very big, big astronaut or wave garrick. And then as you move further north, they get bigger. So when you're looking Sodwana, Cape Vidal, that extreme north end, then you're gonna get fish to, of up to a kilo very easily, maybe a kilo and a half. Um, I believe the all tackle record is somewhere around 2.6, close to 3 kilos, which is an absolute monster of a fish. Um, so we said, yeah, they feed on crustaceans, they will pick up, the, the adults will pick up little, little fish. So when you come to targeting them, small spoons are very deadly, drop shots. When uh, drop shot first came out, this was really the premier game fish that you could catch on drop shot. So those little two inch, three inch minnows are just, they, they, they seem to love, absolutely love that motion. Um, another species that you can get on fly, they, in the calmer bays and stuff like that, it's very easy to catch them, also because you don't have to cast very far. It's very nice to catch, especially for kids or people wanting to learn how to do any kind of art lure, so whether it's fly, drop shot, or spinning. Um, they feed right in that little zone, right against the shore. Actually, if you stand in that shore wash, you often see them flatting, uh, flapping and coming past you as they try and feed on their sides. Um, also, going back, the shape, they, with that shape, as we said, it's quite a lunate shape to the fins. They're also called moonfish, so that's where it comes from, that actual shape of, uh, of a sickle moon. Um, their biology is very poorly understood. So all we really know is that they spawn in summer off KZN type of area. In terms of maturity, uh, or age of maturity at least, or size of maturity, we actually don't know uh, about that. So it's somewhere we really need to focus a bit of bit of energy. If you're catching them with bait, ideal way to catch them, little uh, uh, mole crab or sea lice, that just drifted right behind the shore break is very good. Or uh, small chocker baits, little blob baits, or small little uh, baits, little white baits work very well for them. In terms of targeting, you can target them very effectively up north. Uh, down the side, really more of a bycatch unless you're fishing right, right close to the shore. And often the mistake people do is they try and cast too far for them. Really, it's an underhand flick of the rod. It's all you need. Sometimes that's even a little bit too far. Um, so yeah, chocker, sea lice, uh, prawn baits as well. And then, of course, the little lures that we mentioned. So any little drop shot lure, uh, little spoons, and then in terms of flies, you're looking at any crustacean type imitations or small small uh, fish imitations. So you know, your bay candies, your grunted charlies, that kind of thing. Rolled behind the, the surf is just deadly for them. And they are extremely hard fighting fish for their size. So 
If you really want to have fun, uh, my recommendation, the same tackle used for the stone bream, that little seven foot to round about their rod. Little grinder, some braid, you can have so much fun with them and they, they pull very hard in the shore break. So probably my top light tackle game fish if you want to you call it that. So yeah, get a little rod, get some lures, get some chocker and uh, go out to the Zululand coast and when big fish aren't biting, try and catch yourself some astronauts. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Cheers.